Well, you know, nice trip up. We didn't play exactly in the game how we how we wanted to play. Uh, you know, play, played hard. Uh, didn't get off to the start that we wanted to get off to. Uh, in, in a game like that, in that environment, you got to get off to a good start. We had a couple of plays that we could have made. Yeah, I think really both sides of the ball that really would have made that game uh, a, a really a game. And uh, we didn't weren't able to make those, but our guys, you know, battled for four quarters and they played hard and we played physical and uh, we were not really out physical. You know, in, in that game, and uh, you know, Michigan State's one of the more physical teams in the country, and so I was proud of the guys for that. But like I said, I think uh, you know, indicative of how we played in the third quarter, you know, started if we just started the game like that, I think you would have seen more of a, you know, maybe a 31-14 game, uh, you know, 38-21 game, somewhere of that caliber. But uh, we just wasn't able to do that and didn't make those plays. And it's one of the things we said all summer, you know, all season going in this game is. You're gonna see right where you are as a football team, and uh, we definitely see things that that we're doing okay right now, and we still need to improve on. We definitely see some things that we need to fix and get better at. And uh, like I said, I think it was a good good measure stick for a football team. We come back and you know regroup this week and um, and going on another tough road trip for UTC Chattanooga. But uh, like I said, overall just. Uh, you know, uh, a good trip up and back, and, and just, uh, you know, like I said, the game didn't turn out the way we wanted to. We were very disappointed in that, and uh, not not our expectations for sure. Yeah, maybe just uh, a little about Chattanooga and what you Okay, you know, Chattanooga, you know, we've looked at them and worked on them, uh, you know, pretty much as the same as we have Michigan State, you know, through spring training, you know, through the summer, because we knew we got two tough, tough, you know, road trips, you know, uh, to start the year out with. And, uh, you know, Chattanooga is a great program. They're a top 25 team. Uh, they should have been in the playoffs, uh, in, in my opinion, out of that conference from last year. You look back at, you know, all their conference games last year. I mean, they were they lost an overtime game to Sanford that really, you know, kicked them out. But uh, there were, you know, Furman and Sanford, the ones that made it out of that conference, there were every bit as good, maybe the best team in that conference that got left at home. And, uh, you know, as they beat, you know, App State and, you know, uh, you know uh, Southern uh, – uh, a lot of games they won last year that they, they did good in that conference. But uh, like I said, this is going to be a tough environment for us. I think they got a wide out plan for us, and they'll be ready for us. I think it's an old rival here that's been a pretty good rival. And, uh, but I, I think we got to work cut out for it. Our guys know that. They know we've worked on equally as much as Chattanooga as we did Michigan State. So I think we'll be prepared and ready for the game. Probably starts with their quarterback. It does. I mean, they're uh, – you know, Coach's son's quarterback, you know, he's grew up around football his whole life. You can tell that by the way he manages the game. He just does an excellent job of managing the game, getting them in good situations, not making mistakes. Uh, and what they do is what they do. They're, they're very good at what they do uh, offensively, uh, defensively the same. They're sound defensively, schematically. Don't take a lot of chances. They make you line up and beat them. And, uh, you know, a team that, uh, you know, like I said, just is sound at every phase of the game that they do, and it, it'll be a, a tough game for us. Coach Gross, I, I know this is thinking way down the line, but last year those those non-conference games ended up playing a part in you guys being able to get in the playoffs. Is is that something that that you guys consider now, especially with Chattanooga? No, no doubt. And Chattanooga's in the same position we are. We talked about this yesterday. Uh, you know, just uh, to our football team. You know, we're both zero and one. Uh, but this does have uh, playoff implications. It is just like a playoff caliber game because I feel like they're a playoff caliber team, and I feel like we are, and, and they're sitting in the same situation. Where their backs against the wall. If if you don't want to have to win your conference uh, and win the berth by winning your conference to to go to the you know to the playoffs and have that monkey on your back during conference play, you got to win this game. So, so the game is very meaningful, even though it's an out-of-conference game. So it's a huge game for both teams. And uh, I try to make our team understand uh, that, that it's, it's that important of a game and it's that important for them as well. So it's, it's a, lot of, a lot at stake, I believe, here in this game. And uh, like I said, not to say that, uh, you know, the, the loser of this game does not make the playoffs, but uh, the, the, definitely the winner of this game uh, is in the driver's seat as far as, far as making the playoffs. Could the three players talk a little bit about that? If that's a motivation, or there, or what other things might be motivation for this particular Saturday? Max, maybe you can start. We can just go down the line. Yeah, uh, it's you know it's a pretty much a rivalry game. I've I haven't been a part of it, and it's my first year, so it's exciting. 
Uh, they talk about, you know, in the past how how big this game really is. It, um, and you look, uh, it really does have playoff implications. Last year it was probably either us or them that made the playoffs, and uh, I think we got picked over them. And uh, so it it's definitely uh, added, you know, added uh, – added pressure on the game, but, you know, it's fun. That's why we play the game. Uh, absolutely. Uh, this is a big game for us. Uh, this is no doubt a must win, and uh, we just got to be ready to play. Uh, we got to play better than we did last week, and uh, we just got to be ready to play. It is a huge rivalry game for us. I've been a part of it twice so far, and uh, one and one against them right now, and I'd like to come out on top. And uh, it's it's huge for us for making playoffs, and because if we beat them and we win the conference outright, I mean, we want to go in to feed the rest of the season. First sure. loss behind us, learn from that, and just go in to feed the rest of the season. So every game is a must win for us. Coach, you said things didn't go the way you wanted them tonight, but there were positives that you could take. Uh, definitely, you know they they did not uh, out physical our our front seven defensively. They didn't just take the ball and, and, and you know drive the ball you know with a run game, which they're, that's that's what they're known for is their run game play action pass. They they weren't able to do that against our front seven. Our front seven, you know, made a lot of plays and, and they, they played very very physical. Uh, you know, we kind of served them up two touchdowns early, which they made their plays and we had two chances where. Yeah, we showed that in our team meeting, uh, you know, from the film. And, uh, you know, we were behind their coverage twice early in the game. And, and, you know, we hit one of ours for about 35, 40 yard game. And, and we went out of bounds instead of, uh, you know, making the hit him in stride and keeping him in bounds. And that goes for six. The first play of the game, the bars, if, if we don't miss a block on that, Eli don't get hit when he throws it and we keep bars in bounds, we're up seven nothing instead of, you know, we, we have to punt. Uh, at midfield, and they get the ball, and uh, you know they they scramble around and throw one up, and uh, did a great job and made a, hit the guy in stride, and you know they score theirs, we don't score ours, so you're a 14 point turnaround right there to start the game off with the first two drives. So that could have been very different, you know, if we'd executed a little bit better offensively and kept that ball in bounds, and if we would have uh, you know not uh, you know got got separated from the re receiver, and then their second touchdown was just a. A blown coverage. We just served them one up. That, that was an early Christmas gift from them, you know. And, and not like you, not like you need to give a team like that a Christmas gift that early. It was just a miscommunication, and uh, you know, something we, something we got to correct and move on. And I was like, that's one of those learning lessons. And uh, like I said, even though we have a a uh, more of a veteran team than we had to start of the year last year. We were just so young last year, for the game experience goes. But we still got a lot of guys on our football team. That was their first you know, real competition, you know, playing, you know, in, in a big time environment in a game. So, you know, like I said, we, we, had, we had some growing pains, you know, a little bit in that, that game. And we knew some of that was going to come out in, in that game because, you know, Michigan State is such a solid football team. And they're one of those teams that, you know, they're not going to give you anything either side of the ball. They very seldom miss a line. They, they play without penalties. Uh, they, they don't do anything to help you at all. So, uh, and that was very indicative in that game. You know, where we turned it over, you know, three times. And, uh, you know, we didn't hit some balls that we could have hit. And they, they hit theirs. And they show why they're the, the eighth-ranked team in the country and probably should be a top-five team in the country with a chance to make a national championship game. So, like I said, I did think we did some things well, though. I mean, I thought our, our passing game match came in the, the second half and let us down the field, you know, two or three times. There you got another one in the red zone. It, you know, I probably should have kicked the field goal and got 10 on the board, but, I, you know, I wanted to get another touchdown there. And, you know, we went for it. And, uh, like I said, we should have got points out of that drive for sure. And, uh, like I said, did, did some good things there. Had a couple other ones where we had the ball moving and, and kind of stalled out. Now, as far as the run game, it's tough sledding. You know, their, their front seven is – you really might as well call it a front nine because <laughs> they, they play nine in that box and, and their corners are so good in, in press coverage that it's hard to, to get them not to play nine. Yeah, it's hard. We, we were able to get behind the coverage a few times and you saw that, you know, to where and, and make some throws, but they make it hard on them. They, they really do. But uh, like I said, they were hard to handle up front. That's the strength of their football team, I think. And uh, when you got to throw it every snap, it, it makes it pretty tough on the offense to, to have to do that. It's not something we, we like to do because we like to run the football. But uh, like I said, I did see some, take some positives away from the game of how, how hard our kids played and how physical our kids played. Cause, 
And if you went down on the sideline, you don't know how physical that game was. Now, it was a hard-hitting physical game. But I, I think as far as that goes, we stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and, and did really well. So I was, I was proud of how our kids, you know, helped up with the physical contact of, a, of, a, of a, the most physical team in the Big Ten. You know, I, I thought we did really well there.